In my last days of 2022, I came to the realization that I did a lot of growing and here are some of the things that helped me to grow slash glow in Jesus. First off, one of the first things God's been telling me to do is get rid of dead things, whether that's dead friendships, dead ambitions, dead flowers, get rid of them. And sooner rather than later, because delayed obedience is still disobedience. Secondly, continue to seek him day and night. I like to go on prayer walks because I feel most present with the Lord when I'm in nature. And seeking God is really the basis of any growing we're going to do in him, obviously, is the fact that we spend time with him and have a relationship with him. And the way I do that is through prayer, reading the word, and worship. So that is the foundation of any growing you will be doing in Christ. New phone case. Woo I got a package and I wanted to open it with you because I think it's my Bible cover. So I wanted green because I like that color very much. It has like this, so you can put like an iPad or something. I think that's what the picture said. And then it has this for pencils and highlighters and obviously I'm gonna put mine. I mainly use a black pen and a pink highlighter right now because I like to organize based on what I'm studying and I'm studying who Jesus is to me and I want all of that to be in the color pink. Perfect. I take my Bibles everywhere. So I wanted it protected. So cute. So I'm going to church and I'm so excited. I think there was a time I used to think going to church five times a week was a bit much. So I go Monday Bible study, Wednesday service, Friday service, Sunday service, and Thursday discipleship, which is what today is, which is basically Bible study, but with everyone. I realized the value of it recently because every opportunity I get to gather and come into the house of God is an opportunity to meet him deeper and know him better. And that's what happens at church. Like I genuinely meet God there and I know him for who he is like tangibly. And so I can't, I don't take it for granted. I'm really genuinely grateful that I get the opportunity to go so frequently. And I think something I've been asked before is like, like why do you go so much or why so many hours? <laughs> but we work 40 hours a week. We go to school Monday through Friday. We invest time into things we think are important. So for me, of course, I don't think it's important. I know it's important. Jesus is coming back for the church and I want him to find me in it. I don't know, I don't take that for granted. I really value the fact that I even have the opportunity. When I was in school and I was in sports, we would always have practiced Monday through Friday because I want to get better at it. So I invested into that. And we go to university, countless hours at the classes, and then you go home and you study because that's what you value. But this is what I value because I understand that the treasures in heaven are the ones that are really real treasure. Don't store up treasures on earth, but rather store up treasures in heaven. So yeah, that's why I go to church. You can have people who are from overseas operate more in the kingdom because of the patience. Because you need a container for all of that glory. <laughs> Hi vlog. <laughs> Bible. Yeah, I did. I got it for my birthday. Oh, no worries. Mm -hmm. Any doodles? Mm, let's see. I found something. I found something. God made Jesus Lord in Christ. Amen. God's will for me do not conform. Me. <laughs> Let me transform. <laughs>
We would like the for the first order to be a number one. Lemonade. Lemonade. Lemonade all natural. All natural. Go for it. Okay. I'm wondering. That? that was a cup. <laughs> that was a cup. lady <laughs> Ooh, creepy something i've implemented is dressing more modestly so when i go thrifting or shopping i look for sweaters cardigans longer t-shirts looser pants etc because we have to represent the lord even in the way we dress real ginger and so it has like chunks and stuff in it and so I have to drain it with this and this is what it ends up looking like and this tea tastes <coughs> really spicy I'm gonna warm this up it's not hot enough nobody likes anything lukewarm think the best attribute is treating others as you would want to be treated and for me that's with kindness and gentleness. Any talent God gives us, we should use them to glorify him. For me that's creating videos, art, and any other thing really. Think of the parable of the talents. One had one, one had five, one had ten. The one that had one buried it. And we can't be so scared to fail that we bury them. The king expects to be glorified through the gifts that he gives us. So consider what God has given you and see how you can use it for his kingdom. So for celebrate, I was thinking about that verse in Ecclesiastes that says it's good for us to enjoy the good of our labor and to celebrate to eat and drink because it is the gift of God. It is our portion. When you're a son and servant of the Lord, you should celebrate and rejoice. You know, it says rejoice evermore, pray without the seizing and in everything, give thanks. Like God gave you that gift, thank him for it and participate in celebrating with the people you know you love, the people in your life, the people the Lord sets over you. Celebrate them, celebrate those that help you. Like my sister, I will gladly celebrate her she's amazing but i always used to feel really guilty about celebrating anything because i was like that that's my reasonable service i better do that and so i don't know i always always just scared of that especially when i became a christian because it's like do i deserve this should i do this like you better i just never felt like i should or deserve to but i realized that's what keeps one going like the god rewards your efforts and you should you know receive that and i'm going to talk about receiving blessings and receiving gifts next but celebrating and intentionally like setting up time to spend with someone or to make dinner and have fun and you know really like enjoy the good of your labor and those that you're surrounded by I feel like has been very important and really helps me like I look like a more joyful person because I'm rejoicing and I'm celebrating and really like praise God because <laughs> he's God and he's the one who provided me with everything that I have and the people that I have <laughs> she just delivered this 
because I really like Asian food. Growing up, I was a very independent person, and so learning to receive blessings, prayer, help, assistance, etc., is very humbling for me. Hi, everyone. I'm having a fellowship night with my roomies, and I'm so excited because we don't always get to spend time together. There's so much I want to say about fellowship because that's honestly what helped me grow the most. Before I wanted to commit to Jesus, being around Christian people, which is basically what fellowship means, yeah, is spending time with like-minded people who believe the same things you do, that there's one God, you know, and that's Jesus. That honestly changed my entire view of how I view Christianity. The fact that people were serving him and living for him and laying down their lives and carrying their cross. It shocked me that people did this and lived like that. So Acts 2 verse 42 says, And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and the breaking of bread and prayers. So there's the word fellowship. Philippians 2 verse 1 says, Therefore, if there is any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and mercy, fulfill my joy by being like-minded and having the same love, being on one accord and of one mind. This is what fellowship does. Spending time with fellow believers in any way forces us to be on the same page. That's what being like-minded means. Having the same love, it's forcing us to increase in our love levels and to be patient with each other and listen to one another even if we have to fight out some things and discuss some hard topics and just overcome together. And lastly, my favorite one, Hebrews 10, 24, 25. Let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. It's saying stir up love. Fellowships forces us to love and encourage each other, exhort one another, because there's a day that's coming where we're gonna meet our maker and we need to be able to help one another make it to that finish line. So we can hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. Ultimately, there's so much that goes into growing in Christ, but what it boils down to is being intentional. And it has white light oh, wow. and, and I got it from Amazon.com. You got it. So from, let me make sure my angle's right. Right, right here? Okay. So this is the end of this video. I just wanted to say a few things as I conclude. One, did you notice anything different? Mm -hmm. Two, the Christian for All Diaries is going in a different direction than my past videos. It's gonna be a little bit more like this, kind of everything all in one instead of trying to pinpoint one thing because following Jesus is so like the wind and by the spirit that it's hard to try to stay boxed in or box him in and I don't like doing that. That's what makes it so hard for me to post consistently. So now I want to just follow Jesus whenever, wherever, and with whatever he says. That's what my videos are going to be going forward. Secondly, my favorite book in the Bible is Psalms and Romans, but Psalms is my favorite I'm always in it. It captures everything so perfectly. It's just so fluid. All the ups and downs and highs and lows and emotions and sadness and joy and anger and praise, everything is in that book. And I love it so much. It's like the diary of a man who was after God's own heart. That's literally what it basically is. And I really value that. And I want for my videos to communicate something similar. Last but not least, the kingdom of heaven is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. And we are supposed to reflect the kingdom of heaven here on earth so that others may know what it is that Christians are even presenting. Like, my life is very different from the average Joe. And I don't want people to compare the joy and the peace that I have from the Holy Ghost without wanting the righteous component. And so in conclusion, 
that's what it's going to be going forward. Thank you for listening to my little chat, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!